So what we have here is the latest walking stick. It's a mixture of uh, poplar, uh, walnut, and mahogany. I made a topper shaped uh, sort of like a paddle handle. I find when you're walking, it's a good place to rest, good place to put your hand on. Yeah, it's a nice, nice height, good handle. And the carving pattern we did was a quilted pattern. It's a nice, uh, nice design. A little bit of a stain, finish it off with several coats of polyurethane, hence the, the nice shine to it. But really makes everything stand out. You see the nice wood grain, nice solid top. We have a metal dowel, a threaded rod in there, holds everything together, a little bit of epoxy. So stay tuned. I'll show you how I go about carving this. And uh, hope you enjoy it. If you, you like the video, please hit like. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, I'd really appreciate it. So uh, let me know what you think also down in the comment section. See if you like this latest one. Thanks. So we have all the materials. What we have here is a four foot dowel, inch and a quarter. We have a piece of walnut here, about five eighths. And uh, this is about three and a half, a little over two inches, I think. Let's see. Probably should have measured beforehand. No, nope, inch and a half. Inch and a half by about three. Uh, this is a piece of mahogany. Uh, that's going to be a nice topper. Um, so what we have let's get going. To do, what we're going to do is start by drawing a reference line. So what I have here is a machinist block. Just a simple machinist block and your pencil. What you want to do is on a flat surface, just set a, a reference and just drag it along. Make your mark. This will be a nice even reference line that you'll be able to use to lay out all your lines. And you know it's going to be straight all the way across your, your stick. So, first thing we do is we divide it into six. Oh, can you see those lines? Yeah, I think you can. There you go. So we've divided it into six. Uh, I explained it in a few of the previous videos. So I'll just draw out the total length here is 16 inches. That's where the quilted pattern is going to be. So the first thing, like I said, divide into six equal parts. You see the diamond pattern that we're working out here. It's all been laid out. So far it's the same type of procedure we have for the Celtic knot, except we're going to keep these diamonds. What we're going to do is this is going to be the lowest part around the edges. So we're going to try and curve everything down into these parts. So it makes it look like a quilted uh, pattern or like a pillow or um, a couch or, or Chesterfield that you see um, should make an interesting pattern as we go through so that'll be next <laughs> I have 
here, uh, 150 grit. I'm going to start rounding over everything. So after a little bit of sanding, I think we're getting the pattern like we want it. It's actually looking like a nice little quilted, little quilted uh, little pattern. Everything's all nice and rounded and uh, looking good. So. Small triangular file again. shape out. Obviously we've got to round the whole top off. We're going to put the piece of walnut at the bottom and then uh, probably a metallic dowel uh, threaded rod into the stick itself. And uh, a little bit of work to do but uh, we'll curve all this make it a nice little top handle using a little bit of uh, tight bond too. Nice waterproof glue.
out the top handle shape sort of like a paddle handle drilled a hole for a 3 8 threaded rod that's going to fit in there and then in the stick itself at the top another matching 3 8 hole and we're going to epoxy everything together so that's what we're going to do now a little two-part epoxy here and uh, we're going to first put the threaded rod into the handle and then we're going to put everything together Just a little bit at the beginning. This is a tight fit in the handle, so we don't need a lot of epoxy to get this together. should do it on that part. All right, a little tape to hold it in place. We're going to let that sit uh, probably a few hours, if not probably overnight. Got a few other things to, uh, to work on today. Then we're going to come back and we're going to trim all this down to the original uh, uh, dowel diameter, one and a quarter. So I'll clean up, make a nice transition. So we got the mahogany to the walnut uh, to a lighter, might be poplar, might be maple. And uh, we'll see what comes out of it. Stay tuned. Just tapering the base down to uh, fit a small rubber foot. This is a uh, 7 8 rubber foot. So just with the spoke shave, tapering down the end. stain so you see the mahogany top with the uh, walnut little inlay what we're going to do is we're going to leave this little strip here white and then we're going to stain the rest of it a uh, light brown but here you see the quilted pattern it'll make the stain will make this stand out a little bit of stripes and then taper down to a small 7 8 uh, foot kind of be there but this part is a little too too light too white compared to the uh, the top this is gonna darken up beautifully with uh, a little bit of oil 
So let's get to it. So we put on the uh, a light brown stain on the main stick, just to darken it up a little bit. It was uh, a Verathane uh, Provincial. It's a nice light brown. And now what we're going to do is, on this beautiful hardwood, the mahogany and the walnut, we're going to do a little tongue and teak oil. So that'll darken things up here, and then we'll see how that all turns out. Oh yeah, mahogany's taking it nicely. On the walnut, of course, everyone knows the walnut with some oil on it. Really turns out some nice color. So you're going to see a darker brown, really deep, deep brown. Nice transition. I think that's going to work out great. 